Nikon 80 to 200 f2.8 lens. Is it any good? Oh, hell yes. <laughs> I've owned this lens a couple times. Um, this was the final purchase last week. We're not selling it ever again. There, there's been times in photography, you know, you sell out your gear, you try something else. Um, for a time, the, uh, the newer cameras are getting better on a higher ISO. So people were going the short route and getting a 70 to 300. Um, because, like I said, the newer cameras are better with the higher ISO. So for half the price, you can get a 70 to 300. But again, it's 5.6. Uh, 80 to 200 F2.8. Three different versions. More than that, maybe. Um, you got your ED, you got a push-pull, and you got an AFS. They all work. They're all decent. I've never had a problem with just the ED for sports or anything I've shot. I've never owned the AFS. I'll tell you that up front. Also, this is only going to work with Nikon bodies that have the screw drive. When you take your lens off the camera, look at the front of your camera, and around the, the bottom position will be a little thing looks like a Phillips head screwdriver sticking out. That's your screwdrive. If your camera has the screwdrive, this 80 to 200 will work. If it doesn't, well, you probably have to use it in manual focus. But the 80 to 200, this is it here on my uh, new 7500. It's just they're incredible. Um, you want that nice blown out background look. Um, shooting portraits, sports, pretty much everything. Sure, there's faster lenses for sports. I'm not saying there's not. There's faster lenses for sports. Different companies make them. You can pay a lot more. But for the price, if you wanted to go new on an 80 to 200, right now you're looking at 1221.95 off B&H. Uh, and then you're looking about twenty-six to twenty-eight dollars for a hood. They don't come with a lens hood. All right. Um, they do come with a tripod mount. Now, if you wanted to go the used route, um, go over here. Used Photo Pro. These guys have been recommended by many photographers. These places, like Use Photo Pro, is one of the top ones. They actually check their stuff. Um, <laughs> the reason, like I said in the beginning, I own a few of these, okay? I had two last year from KEH that came in, and I went out on a shoot. There was a gentleman practicing his golf swing. Locking on focus on a gentleman. Asked him if I take some pictures. Sure, go ahead. Just pissing around, you know, testing out the lens. And he's swinging at the golf ball, and I'm snapping off the pictures. He takes off. Cool, cool, cool. I hit play. What's in focus is the trees 700 yards behind him. So... Came back to the house, done some test shoots on the way back to the house, even on a tripod that would focus on like uh, a flower. And I take the picture and you hit play and everything behind it was in focus but the flower. So I came back and uh, with Lightroom there was a plug in to show your focal points. I took a bunch of screenshots of that, sent it to KEH, sent the lens back twice. It was not the camera body. They finally checked that it was the lens. Problem with that is, you know, now I lost a shoot or two that I had planned with the 80 to 200 because I had lenses that were bad that were used. Be careful who you deal with used. Call them up and ask them, do you test your lenses? Or can you test the lens I purchase? 
before it's sent, a focus test. So, you know, the newer cameras have a focus setting. You could set it in there for a fine tune, but uh, I'm just saying, the ones I got of KEH, they were, <laughs> they were foobar. But anyway, over here to use Photo Pro, I'm not trying to pump them up. I just purchased an excellent condition one for 658 right here. They have a couple other ones on there, but uh, you can see this is the um, F28DED. That's one I have. Okay. Your cheaper ones here are going to be what's called a push-pull. So you would focus by pushing or pulling the lens here. Then you have the ones that are AFS. These have the high-speed motor in them for faster focus. These are the ones that are pretty rare. Guys will buy them. That shoot a lot of sports. That's what the AFS is. Um, I've never owned an AFS. I'm not going to give you my opinion, of, of course, about the focus speed difference. But I've not had a problem getting my sports pictures done with just the two ED. I, I've never had an issue. I've shot racehorses at 2,000 frames a second. I've shot football at a thousand. I've shot dirt bikes. I've shot everything with this lens, and um, I've never had an issue with this one having a focus problem. Of course, the better the bodies you have to put on, the better it's going to focus. You know, this may work on like an older D90, but that D90 is not going to focus as fast as like a D3, or as far fast as a D500 or a D5. So remember that. Um, if you're running it on an older camera, you know, you figure if you're going to get one anyway for 650, 660, okay, 658, well, here, 700, get to the AFS model. So, AFS again, catch 22, more moving parts, more stuff to break. Then again, it is what it is. You know, I don't get hung up on that kind of stuff, just like these guys who won't buy the 7500 because it's got one card slot. Oh, well. So is the Nikon 80 to 200 worth the money? Yes. Um, if you just wanted to try a sample out and not pay full retail, go to a you know used lens place somewhere where they do test them. Also check your local photo place, see if they have any used ones in stock. You go down and put on your camera. I think you guys will be very happy. You know, you, you blow out that background, you get the fast glass, you get the pro glass. It's got a very nice color tone to it. It's not an oversaturated type lens. It's not really, you know, it's not really all screwed up. And you're going to definitely like the 80 to 200 if you guys want to take your game up to the next level and get into some pro glass. And you can do it at a very cheap price, you know. And it's definitely going to improve your pictures over an F3.5 to 5.6, so... I, if you're already here looking and you're already here hearing conversations about the Nikon 80 to 200, yes, they're worth it. And um, you know, you could see these reviews on on almost any site, four or five hundred reviews. You know, <laughs> you know, look at 329 five star reviews. You're not gonna find bad reviews on a Nikon 80 to 200 f2.8 lens. Again, you want to go new. B&H, 1221, you want to go used, I deal with now, use Photo Pro, and you can get the push-pull version from a little over 300, all the way up to your max 700 for a very good condition, AFS, excellent condition. I got the, uh, right here, this is the one I got. 658 is what I paid. Their, their shipping to me was free at the point. At that point, came in a couple days, packaged very well, and you can't tell it's not new. I mean, their greeting system is, you know, supreme. When they say excellent, yeah, excellent. There, there's not a scratch or mark on this lens at all. Focus is perfect, dead on focusing, and um, I would definitely buy from these guys again. But. Um, yeah, the Nikon 80 to 200 is a great, great lens. You also have a limiter up here. You can set your limiter. You have your manual or autofocus right here, and back here is your, you know, your focus ring from 80 up to 200. So, 
it, it's just an amazing lens. Uh, it's decently fast to focus on the better bodies. Again, you need a screwdriver body to run this lens. And um, post some comments down below if you own the lens or if you're planning on getting the lens because I'll tell you what, it's definitely worth the money. It's definitely worth the money. And um, nothing, nothing like that F2.8 glass. And you could go ahead and you can do a Google search for samples. Um, 80 to 200 Nikon samples. And you can just go through them. I mean... This is this is what you expect. You know, you get that blown out background there. You know, you can't <laughs> you can't knock this lens, you know. Like I said, if you're doing extreme sports, you could get the AFS model that's there, but this is just a workhorse all around stinking lens. You know, you cannot go wrong. Cannot go wrong. That's what it looks like with the uh, lens hood. That's an older, actually, somebody has an older push-pull one here, you can see. But, yeah, it's it's a wonderful lens. You can just see these pictures. They're just incredible. So, don't fret. If you want to take your game up a little more, get the Nikon 80-200 f2.8. Like I said, get one used, and you're pretty much in the ballpark of where you would be getting a 7300 35 to 5.6. So, all right. Thanks for listening.